Today, we're gonna to be tying up one of my favorite blue wing olive nymphs. For this particular pattern, we're gonna be using an olive thread. This one is a Vivas thread in size 14 off. We'll start by securing our thread to the hook, snapping it free, and moving our thread to the back of the fly. Here we'll create a small thread dam that's gonna be important for our next step. We'll grab a light colored feather and we're gonna use this for our tail. Measure it out to be about a quarter to a half of the hook shank in length. Tie that into the back and secure. Our little thread dam is gonna help fan out these fibers so they don't stick together. After our tail is secure, we can move our thread up to the head of the fly, further securing the feather as we go and then snipping the excess free. After that, we will grab a gold brassy wire and use this to prevent our bead from spinning around. So we'll secure the wire to the hook and wrap that all the way back to the tail of our fly. Our next step is to create a small body transition towards the head of the fly. A simple way to do this is wrap your thread almost to the head of the fly and then bring it all the way back till you almost reach the tail section. You'll then repeat these steps till you return to your starting point. After which we will grab our wire and begin twisting it up in open spirals towards the head of our fly. Once complete, we will secure using our thread, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and helicoptering the wire free. Our next step is to grab some mylar. This particular one is in pearl, but you can use whatever you'd like. And we will secure that to the head of our fly, taking some thread wraps a little further back onto the wire, grabbing some hairs ear dubbing. This one in particular is in olive brown, but you can use whatever you'd like to match the hatch in your area. We'll create a dubbing noodle and begin spinning that around the front section of our fly. Once you are happy with your dubbing, you can take a wrap in front to secure. Next, we'll grab a dubbing brush and you're gonna wanna brush away from the center of your fly. And what this is going to accomplish is we're trying to recreate a mayfly. Mayflies have pretty prominent legs that stick out towards the side. You can see that this is giving us an effect of legs kind of sticking out. Once we're happy, we'll pull the fibers down, grab our mylar, fold it over, secure both in front and behind, and snip free. With that complete, we can whip finish, pull tight, and snip free. Next, you can pull away any fibers that you aren't happy with. Grab some UV resin and apply this to the back and head of the fly to seal everything together. And I also like to, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you want to see more patterns just like this, you can always hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.